here is a, a rectangular log which is a 3 meter broad and 2 meter high it floats with its breadth horizontal so here it is uh, 3 meter in this direction and 2 meter high which is here it floats with its breadth horizontal that makes sense and the density of the log is 0 0.7 well I can write that the relative density of log is 0 0.7 ton per cubic meter we need to find the draft if the density of water in which is floating so this is the water line first let me draw this and this is this distance vertical distance from keel to water line or from water line to keel that is the draft we need to find suppose this is x and it is floating in water of rd 1.01 assume that the length of this log is l we need to find the mass of the log well mass of log will be volume of log which is uh, length into breadth into height which is 2 meter and into relative density which is or density we can write relative density the, actually there is no unit for relative density but the density has the unit well we can use the same term 0 0.7 and that will be in tons this is underwater volume so if this is the underwater volume then mass of water displaced mass of water displaced will be length L breadth 3 and draft which is X we have assumed into density which is 1.01 so as per law of flotation that this mass of log is equal to mass of water displaced by the log so we can equate both this equation and I can write like this L into 3 into X into 1.01 is equal to L into 3 into 2 into 0 0.7 well this is pretty simple we have certain things which we can cancel this one this one so this 3 also will get cancelled now I have a simple equation where x is equal to I can write like this that x is equal to here 2 into 0 0.7 divided by 1.01 and now I just need to punch in here in the Kelsey 2 into 0 0.7 will give me 1.4 and this divide by 1.01 so the x is 1.386386 I can write up to three places that is the draft now let's look at the question find its draft in water of rd 1.01 .01. so we have calculated this draft so here a cylinder 2 meter in diameter and 10 meter long floats in fresh water with its axis horizontal so the axis of the cylinder is horizontal suppose this is the cylinder this way and this is the axis of cylinder this is horizontal it is floating like this at a draft of 0 0.6 meter find its mass so it is floating like this and I can uh, represent uh, this portion this portion like this and here the diameter is uh, 2 meter so this is the center so this distance is just one meter well if this is one meter this is center O so the draft is 0 
so it is somewhere here we can write this line this is a and b this i can mark as c this as d so this is given which is 0 0.6 meter and since the diameter is 2 meter so the radius is 1 meter if this is 1 meter this is 0 0.6 so obviously this is 0 0.4 meter that means O to C is a 0 0.4 meter we need to find out what is AC imagine AC is X so X square plus 0 0.4 is square this is as per Pythagorean theorem is equal to 1 is square so x square is equal to 1 minus 0 0.4 square or let's just use the Kelsey here now okay well 0 0.4 and a square is this 0 0.16 and then you need to subtract this 0 0.16 from 1 so actually it is 1 minus 0 0.16 so you get 0 0.84 this is 0 0.84 and then we take the square root of that which is which gives me x which is 0 0.9165 six five one five meter or if I round off I can round off to zero point one nine seven one nine seven that is good enough now this is X which is this distance let me just mark with this color green color A to C so the total distance is double of this and again I can multiply by two and then rounding off I think that's better then this distance AB will be 1.833 1.833 that is this distance I got so if that is this distance and this is 0 0.4 let me find the area of triangle AOB this is the triangle so area of this triangle will be let me write here half into base which is 0 uh, 1.833 into 0 0.4 will give me it is uh, multiplied by 0 0.4 divided by 2 so we get this as 0 0.3666 or 0 0.367 meter square that is the area of triangle now let's find out what is this angle this angle theta so this angle theta is we know this side which is 0 0.917 and this is 0 0.4 Four, so I can write that 10 theta is equal to this side which is 0 0.917 divided by this base which is 0 0.4 so this gives me theta is equal to again let me just use this Kelsey well uh, switch it on 0 0.917 divided by 0.4 is this then shift I use 10 inverse so I get this value 64.4323 well I need to find a o c a o b so it's just I need to do the doubling of this so double of this is 132.865 8 or I can round off to 132.866 so let me write here 132.866 degree that is 2 theta which is angle AOB let me just mark here this angle A O and B so we know the theory of 
circle that if this is a full circle here so the total is 360 degree 360 degree and the area is pi r square now for this sector this is uh, 132.866 then what is this area well pi r square into 132.866 divided by 360 degree so we got to find the area of this sector which is uh, now again use the calci this is already there answer multiplied by pi multiplied by pi so shift and this is pi multiplied by r r is 1 that is square is also 1 divided by 360 so I get this area which is 1.159 1 1.159 so the area is 1.159 meter square now look at this this sector this a o b d a this sector we have calculated and we also know the area of this triangle this triangle here let me just choose this color so that this triangle so if we subtract this triangle from this a o b d we will get the area of this segment so this is 1.159 and area of triangle so we have already calculated this area uh, which is 0 0.367 meter square so 0. 367 meter square I need to subtract this so the area of uh, area of segment and which segment I am talking about let me just go up here a b d a a b d a a b d a will be equal to now this is 2 this is 9 this is 0 that means meter square so if I got this area then volume will be multiply area multiplied by length and the length is given as 10 meter 10 meter so the volume will be 7.92 meter cube and if it is flo uh, floating in fresh water then mass will be 7.92 ton answer 